I'm Chris, and today I'll be talking about STL's Enigma Soprano Ocarina. The Enigma series offers an ideal blend of aesthetics and functionality, and it makes a great choice for an experienced player looking for a more dynamic, performance-focused ocarina with a strong, bold tone suitable for accompanied and solo performances. The Enigma Soprano is fully chromatic and plays in the key of C from A5 to F7, giving it a range of 1 octave plus 5 for a total of 13 notes. Here's the scale. The Enigma Soprano is a little over 5 inches long, and it's about 3 inches wide. Compared with the Enigma Tenor, you can see that it's a bit smaller. It weighs about 4 ounces, which is about the same, just a tiny bit less, as a Nintendo Wiimote. So here they are next to each other for a better size comparison. The Enigma Soprano is a transverse ocarina with an elongated mouthpiece and a long tapered end and the surface is textured with rippled depressions that give it the appearance of ocean waves. It's made of glazed ceramic, so the texture is smooth like glass with a shiny, glossy finish. If you look closely, you can see that there's a crackle effect in the blue glazing that creates a nice, subtle effect in the overall presentation. In addition to giving it a unique look, the textured finish creates a more grippy surface, which makes it easier to hold the ocarina while playing. The top of the Enigma Soprano is relatively flat, with some beveling around the sump holes, making them easier to cover quickly. The Enigma Soprano is a performance-focused ocarina, so I recommend playing it outdoors or in large rooms. The Enigma Soprano is more dynamic than other Sopranos from STL. To stay on pitch, you'll need to use softer breath on the lower notes, with an increasing amount of breath going up the scale which creates a crescendo effect with the volume. If you're looking for a less dynamic, softer volume soprano ocarina, I recommend the Florentine Soprano. I usually recommend the Enigma series to more advanced players, but because the Enigma Soprano doesn't require as much breath control as the Enigma Tenor, I would also recommend this ocarina to an intermediate player with woodwind experience, or anyone looking for a soprano with a very dynamic tone for performance. While it demands a bit more of the player, it is very rewarding to unlock this ocarina's potential, and you may find that other ocarinas are much easier to play once you do. The Enigma Soprano has a rich, virtuosic tone. Usually ocarinas with such a powerful tone are a bit more textured, but the Enigma Soprano has a very smooth, clean timbre which is slightly less responsive for a more melodic, flowing sound. In my opinion, this tone is ideal for more expressive, emotive pieces. I definitely recommend using your neck strap with the Enigma Soprano. It takes a little more practice to learn to properly support a soprano ocarina, and the neck strap will protect it just in case it slips out of your hands. The elongated mouthpiece and long tapered end make this soprano a little easier to support on the highest notes than other soprano ocarinas, but I still recommend using the neck strap until the ocarina feels comfortable in your hands and you can confidently play the highest notes. There are different techniques for playing the highest notes, so I recommend experimenting to find the one that works best for you. If you're used to playing another ocarina, try adapting the technique you use for that ocarina before trying a new method. The best technique is whichever one allows you to keep a good grip in the ocarina, no matter how many holes are uncovered. Be sure to use plenty of breath on the highest notes. If you don't, they'll sound weak and airy, and you'll be flat as well, like this. Using the correct amount of breath produces a much better sound. You can practice the lowest notes, C, B, and A, by comparing them with C, B, and A one octave higher to make sure that you're using the correct amount of breath.
You can also practice the highest notes by playing D, E, and F one octave lower to make sure that you're using enough breath on the highest notes. It may seem difficult at first, but practice makes perfect. You can definitely play faster or more upbeat music on the Enigma Soprano, but in my opinion, this ocarina really comes alive when you play music that makes use of its more dynamic breath requirements. So try playing a variety of music to really get the most out of this ocarina. Well, that's all for this time. Thanks for watching.